All right, this is a review of two different wheel locks, leaf lock type locks that I got for my trailer. I have a six by 12 enclosed trailer. And I just wanted to get something that would uh, prevent the trailer from being wheeled away in case somebody cut the uh, hitch lock or something like that. So originally I started out with a, um, a Brinks lock um, to put on my, it's a six by 12 enclosed trailer. It's a Brinks one, which I think is fine. Um, originally it came with a, a Chinese discus style lock, a 60 millimeter one that was really chintzy. Um, in fact, I have a six year old, excuse me, a nine year old son that um, was able to pick it fairly easily. Um, so I got this one by Abus, um, same size basically, but just a lot better quality. So I guess it's fine, but um, I guess I, in the back of my mind was, it, it just seems a little flimsy in the sense that if somebody really did wheel away the trailer, um, I'd be concerned that the that it might snap, either the, the lock, because it's kind of small, or the, the um, lock, the um, U-shape lock from Brinks. So anyway, I decided to try one from a company called the leaflock.com, and it's a lot more beefy. And um, I just got it today, put it in, and uh, put a, an alloy puck on it. It's got the sentry key system on it, so I'm able to match it up with, with other locks that I have, so I can just use one key for everything. And uh, I just right away, I just feel a lot more secure with this thing. So I know that if somebody actually did roll away with the trailer, it would lock up the wheel and it would not snap. And I, I feel very confident about that. Um, I've got two other ones here on the outside so you can get a better look. But just from a weight perspective, the difference between the Brinks one and the, uh, the Leaf Lock, it's just, it's easily three times as heavy. You know, I, I would say maybe four times as heavy. And then the locks that I was able to put on it, um, I put this this Avis one, like I said before, it's fine, but this Abloy one, this puck is is a lot more secure. And again, it's it's much, much heavier, probably four times as heavy. And you can put other types of locks on this uh, this bigger, um, the Leaf Lock one too. I tried an Avis um, one that's got a 12 millimeter shackle and that, fit it was a little tight but um, I mean you could put different things on there but I like the puck lock for this so you know I think um, you know if you're willing to spend the money I mean that's that's the issue is um, the leaflock.com it, it was a lot more expensive I forget exactly how much it cost but I think it was like three times as expensive as the one from Brinks which I got off of Amazon so you know I, I'm gonna save the one that I have from from Brinks for other purposes when I have another trailer that I lock up in an area that's really not you know much of a risk um, but if you have a trailer that's at risk of possibly being rolled away and you have stuff in the trailer or the trailer itself, um, you know, that you really want to protect, um, I would say that the leaflock.com is, is a good choice. Um, you know, if you're willing to spend the extra money. And then one thing too, I wanted to point out is see how much longer the U shape is. This gives you a lot more versatility in the size of the trailer. Now my, my trailer is not all that big of a one, but even with, um, the smaller size of my six by 12, I don't have much more give. I could go one more link out, but with um, the larger leaf lock, you know, I've easily got three, four inches. So if you have a much larger trailer, maybe seven foot wide or eight foot wide, um, where you need a larger U, um, this would be a good choice. And and even on the smaller trailers, it, because of that that longer shape of the U, even if you push it in, it's there's no way for somebody to get it off on the backside. So anyway, there's uh, there's my views of these two different. Um, leaf locks both fine, but I think um, one clearly is a lot more high security. All right, thanks.